What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Saucy Podcast. This episode brought to you by Bold City Painting, serving the greater Jacksonville and Beaches area. Bold City Painting is your local painter looking to knock out any project you need completed out of the park, from full exterior repaints to your kid's playroom, or just refinishing your kitchen cabinets. These guys can handle it all. Professional, fast, and affordable. Check them out on Instagram or Facebook at Bold City Painting and get a free estimate today. And we can't forget about Graphics Mafia, our newest podcast sponsor. Graphics Mafia specializes in vinyls, t-shirt prints, hats, perforated window vinyls, custom phone cases, signs, business fronts, business cards, canvas prints for photographers, automotive decals and wraps using Avery and 3M. If you have a design already, Graphics Mafia can do it. If you don't have one, Graphics Mafia can do it and design it for you. For all your vinyl and printing needs, look no further than Graphics Mafia. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, or at graphicsmafia.com. Contact them today for a free quote. Thank you again, Graphics Mafia, and thanks again, Bold City Painting, for being part of the Saucy Podcast family. And now, on to the show. And we live. Hey. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, brother. (laughs) How are you? (laughs) Welcome back. Good to be back. Is it? Oh, well. I mean, you got back Saturday. Saturday morning. It was like right back into some other shit as soon as you got back. Yep. He was nonstop. Nonstop. That's it. That's, that's, how, you how, go. that's how I live, brother. I guess. My feet, my calves are feeling it now. Oh, you got burnt up, huh? Oh, Aside just from that. Oh, uh, walking. Right. That's I mean, a lot. That's just, that hurts. A lot. <laughs> it's a big ship. Huh? You mean like on the ship or oh. on land or? Just well, everywhere I walk. Yeah, it's everywhere I walk, I'm feeling it. Really? Yeah, it was a lot of walking. I mean, they need to they need to imply those uh, things that are in universal. Put them oh, on like the, the, the hallway. <laughs> like as soon as you walk out, you boom, you're right on it. It's like full Wally, like full yeah. Wally life. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, dog. You just gotta walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off, pussy. I mean, what were you walking in? Flip flops. Um, no, I can't wear flip flops because my half toe, right. I flick it off. Stop. <laughs> like it don't get no traction. Or you like when you walk, you know, when you walk your toes, like press down. Oh yeah. It'll keep you in well, there. My one big toe doesn't go down because hmm. I shattered it and it, when it fused back together, it's all, it was just one solid. Right. So now I don't do this. Uh, totally messed up. Yeah. So when I walk, <laughs> fun game, fun yeah. game, dog. Pun game strizz on. But yeah, so I can't wear flip flops. I flip them bitches. Wear a slide. You don't like slides, huh? Uh nah, they do the same thing. I can't traction to keep them on. So I just wear like just like uh, slip on shoes. Oh, okay. I don't know what the hell they're called. They're not Crocs or something. They're yeah, comfortable. They're little boat, boat shoe type. Oh thing. yeah, and I got my Sperry's. Yeah, I guess whatever helps. I don't know. So cruise was cool. Was it? Um, <laughs> I can't. God damn! You I didn't go to like the tour up spot in the Bahamas, right? Who? No, 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 no. Uh, speaking of tore up, um, as soon as we get on the ship, got a gay couple, got a married couple. Right. Apparently, one of the one of the gay boys, my nieces. <laughs> he was my, a boy and he was gay. That's why he said that. My, <laughs> my nieces, my nieces call them um, fancy boys. Fancy boys. Yes, yeah, huh? so they're not gay boys. They're fancy boys. Right. So we got a fancy couple. And we got a straight couple. Well, apparently, one of the fancy boys had a bunch of jewelry on. And the wife bumped oh. up against the old boy with all the jewelry, the jewelry on. Right. You got a Mr. T star. Old boy, band. like, just pimp slaps her. Pow! Uh-uh. Right? So then, what's, what's going to happen if you see a dude slap the hell out of your old lady? Oh, yeah. He's getting buried. Everybody's getting killed. Right. Right there. Oh, yeah. He's I'm going just, overboard. I'm hitting everybody, and then we'll sort it out. Right. right? So they full-on fight. Fist fighting. Fist fight. Pow, 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 one pow, dude pow. slapping, the other one's punching. So JSO's called. Oh. Had to come on the ship. Arrested the fancy boys, got the fancy boys off the ship. The other people, you can laugh, stay. you can laugh into the mic. Let, let people know it's funny. <laughs> okay, it is funny. So, just, I don't know why I'm silent. You're laughing. just like, you're like, <laughs> and then come back to it. <laughs> All right, sorry, chocolate rain. Jo- yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so, so the, they, they the got they couple get, stayed, straight couple stayed. They got they got fancy boys off. Well, then they had to find all the fancy boys' luggage. So, this is in the middle of getting on the ship. Right. So that, I mean, Everybody's their, their luggage could be in transport anywhere. You don't know where it on, is. No, right? no. So they had to find that. All you do is look for <clears> a glittering ass suitcase. Yeah. Look for that and, you know, I'm just kidding. and other whatever stuff. Right. But had to get them off. And then 
So we were an hour behind leaving, mm. right? <clears throat> so then we get out, and I think we went under the Danes Point Bridge. I had to look back at the timestamp on my Instagram, but I want to say it was like 530, something like that. It was later in the day. I remember seeing it. Yeah, it was later yeah. in the evening. So I only think it's like maybe an hour after that we hear a, 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 med, a medical alert to – um. They said, I think it was our floor. You something. Oh, great. Some oldie done had a heart attack or something, uh-huh. right? Well, come to find out, somebody fell right. down the flight of stairs and broke their femur bone. Strongest bone in your body. Yeah, it's the upper, it's your upper thigh bone. Right. Broke it. That meaty joint. Well, we had to make a, if you look our, you know, you can look on that one um, screen to show you where you are on the boat, uh-huh. like you, the boat, you know, where it's traveling. It, it's going straight line to Bahamas. And that bitch hangs a hard right into Port Canaveral Ooh, and goes right, stop. goes yeah, goes right off the side of uh, Port Canaveral for the Coast Guard to come out and get said person off of the ship for it. for medical, and then fixed. makes a little right back out of that stream again and sh- to the Bahamas. You know they made reports. Oh, if you notice, we had to you know, make oh, an yeah. emergency stop in Port Canaveral. I'm like, oh, that's my chair squeaking because oh. I'm fat. Thing. Yeah, I need some WD forty. <laughs> Why couldn't they just like helo evac them dudes? I mean, there's nowhere on the ship for helo to land. I mean, send a basket down, bro. You ever seen uh, Coast Guard with Kevin Costner? No, I'm pretty sure they they love they live for that. Yeah, they, we were probably waiting for that call. Oh yeah. So, um, first 24 hours were it was like that. It was just like bad shit happening. Yeah, calamity. So then we're on the top deck. So we're we're you know drinking, people watching. We already know you know calling out the. You know, the uglies versus the, the pretties. The crazies. And and then, but bro, man, seven-day cruise, way, way too many crotch goblins. There was a lot for, of kids. A lot of kids, in my opinion, for a seven-day well, cruise. What's strange is it's like right in the middle of the school week. Yeah, like, like the, school year, I mean. You know, it's like, well, we're going to, we're allowed seven days out of school. And I think it was nine days back when we went. You can only miss nine days in the first nine Something, weeks. I don't know. So I can't remember. But we're going we're gonna to collect all five of them right here off the rip. No, Johnny that's needs to wild. go to school. For real. Because he needs to learn something. But that's too many damn kids. So then you got, you know, so you got kids, you know, a lot of tweens and teenagers. You know, we saw a hot tub. It was like five teenage boys with one little teenage girl. I'm like, okay, that's how, you know, babies are made. Yeah, that's you know, teenage that's, pregnancy. That's, that's the start of an MTV show right there. I mean, yeah. So. 16 and pregnant. Yep, yeah, there she oh, is. Oh, they're just marinating all up in there. Oh, yeah. So we didn't get in that hot tub. Oh, I, no. mm-hmm. You won't mm-hmm. be in that one. No, 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 you know what's in that one. So then we started, you know, more people watching. And I was like, I looked at it, man, I'm like, America as a whole is out of shape. Oh, you know, I mean, you know the stats. Oh, yeah. Like, I know for, I can't say shit because you know, I'm out of shape as a motherfucker. I mean, but you can say it like it's real. Like, but like, I ain't never seen more man titties in my life. Ooh. I've never seen more damn. Uh, and what really upset me was. Uh, Miss Pat, which is my friend, Jennifer's mom, you know, they booked the cruise the same time we did. It wasn't right. planned or nothing, right? Sure. But we hung out. Wink. You know, it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. <laughs> but um, she went to go get dessert, right? Very first night. Mm-hmm. These two big old fatties took every dessert they just off of there. Ransacked the place. And went back, sat down, ate it. How does that work? Miss Pat just wanted to look just a little sliver of cheesecake. You just That's go all over she was looking for. Take one. Yeah, I'm like uh, they're serving dinner like in two hours, bro. Well, how did you get it all? Like he had a tray, multiple or plates, bro, multiple plates. I would knock all that shit out of his hands. Oh, oops! Well, and he was one of those fatties. He was one of those fatties that had the t-shirt mm-hmm. and then his belly, which you're ho- you're hoping it's his belly, is hanging past his shirt. His fupa's hanging out. Yeah, like you want to just go like, hey, what's this? <laughs> right. <laughs> He's, oh, he's Winnie the Pooh in it. Yeah, you know, straight Winnie the Pooh action. Damn. But, man, it was bad. Putting all the desserts in his honey pot. Yep. So, That's a bad look. So, when we got, well, I think we had one, the first day was at sea. Mm-hmm. And then we went to their private private island, right? Oh, yeah, the rip-off island. Yeah. So, we get there. Now, this is like the one day that you want to be in port like all day. Right, because it's a beautiful island. Yeah, it's a beautiful island. The setup's dope. We rented a, um, oh, a cabana, right? We rented a cabana. The rich people, dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Got that podcast of mine. <laughs> but um, 
we rented a cabana for the day. We were supposed to have it till two, I think two thirty, something like that, two o'clock. Right. Because we had to be back on the ship by three, and uh, one fifteen, old boy comes around to start cleaning up. Like we just like, y'all packing up. Like wait, what? Y'all leaving? I'm like nah, bro. You better get on with it. Right. I've got, I've so, got another hour here. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Don't, don't don't touch my fruit. Mm. <laughs> Y'all gotta make a shit. You gotta get like a little tender back to the yeah, boat, right? Yeah, because you gotta get back on a little tender, tend to take you back out to the boat, and you know, gotta right. be back on by three so they can skedaddle. Uh, well, um, I mean, they better send a, a special boat back for us at like two fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get well, my money's worth. Yeah, I'm gonna be drunk. Yeah, I'm gonna need a handicap boat for sure. One level boat. I need right. one. I need a one level tender. One of the ones you can just pull up to the shore on. Yeah, so I can waddle my ass out and jump in. That's it. But yeah, that that day was short, which they need to redo that. I'd rather spend all day on the on the beach, you know, snorkeling and all that shit yeah, that I paid for. Your drinks. Yeah, drink, chill, get catch a tan. Nah, let's let's rush it. That's crazy. So, but um, and where'd you go after that? We left from there and went straight to Turks and Caicos. Oh, that place, Grand yeah. Turk. Yeah, that's, that's fire, dude. That car. I wish uh, we would have done. I, I wish we would have damn did an excursion now in Turkey. We didn't, we didn't do one. No. We just meandered around. I out. slapped saucy podcast stickers on shit. For real. We'll probably yeah. get a bill for that. Oh yeah. Um, well, while in Turks lady off the ship fell tripping over just a little bit of a brick paver in Margaritaville broke her arm. So broke just basically drink some milk. Yeah. They it's had tripping. plenty of it on the boat. I mean, trip fall. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, there was a lot of blue hairs, that's for sure, on the ship. That's crazy. So you just had the calamity ship. Yeah. And then what's funny is well it ain't funny because three people have died, but what, apparently three people died on your cruise? No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Miss Pat. I'm not going on a cruise with you ever. I'm not going on a cruise with Miss Pat no more. She the she's the she's, she's the, the bad black. luck charm? Yeah, boy. She's had three people die right next to her on a cruise ship. She need a rabbit foot not, too. Not like within like on the same floor or in no right next to her. How many first of all, how many cruises has she been on that those she's she has almost, those numbers? She's almost a diamond member. Okay. Well then the I mean the odds are pretty good that you're gonna be around some dead ass people. Oh yeah. If you go that many Especially times. with that many old people on the ship. Oh yeah. It's like uh Cocoon, the movie. I love you know that I mean? movie. Yeah. Oh it's a bunch of old ass people. Oh, we'll get the movies here in a minute. Oh Lord. I found out yesterday my wife's a fucking communist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> but so that yeah so i don't want to go on a cruise with that lady no nah. so yeah if we plan one luckily you know she stays in the casinos and gambles oh dude for real f those places it, you still smoking them yeah that shit pisses me off because <gasps> you have to walk through that bitch to get anywhere anywhere because that's on this main floor yeah. so now you just smell like an ashtray when you get to the comedy club great dog shit yeah yeah that's ridiculous. Right, damn, bro. How many, smoke, how many did you smoke? Uh, none. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> I don't smoke. So gross. Yeah, you know, those I hate fake it. ass uh, purifiers that don't do anything. Yeah, they just push the air, the shitty air, right back out. And that ship is old. Like when we were coming up to it, I don't know if they just pressure washed the one side, like when we were porting. Like the side port. you can see. Yeah, so like, but we coming on the other side. I was like, oh my god, they need oh. to pressure wash this thing. All you see is like the rust runs. Oops. I was like, this bitch ain't this gonna fall apart. Seaworthy? No, this ain't gonna fall apart, is it? You start to see like the letters behind the old the paint. It says like USS Titanic or some shit. <laughs> there was one night, uh, the waves were pretty bad. Like one night we were getting like fifty mile fifty mile an hour um winds. Really? Right? So you could feel that shit. Rocking? <clears throat> Ship was rocking and rolling, right? Damn. But man, that she gone. I'm just laying there, you know, contemplating life. I'm like it, was like, it, it felt like stomach. it felt like one of those things where the boat went up like this, like it went up a wave. Oh, and then it bottom fell out. Then it yeah, it came down, like but the metal you could hear the steel like. I'm like, so it's the perfect storm. Oh yeah, so I'm like, okay, if this thing snaps in half, my mom is gonna be so pissed. Yeah, (laughs) that's all I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about my mom. I'm like, if I die, my mom's gonna be so pissed. You have to like think back to because you do that thing before you leave, like right when you leave port, we have to go to your like emergency station. Oh yeah, yeah. They show you where all the lifeboats are and all that shit. I don't know why they've even faked the funk. Because it's chaos. If something like that were to happen... All hell breaking loose. Yeah, like, who's going to remember? Oh, I'm on station four. Okay. First of all, on those on those little lifeboats, I think it's like 140-something people max. Right. 
maybe 140 of your average size fans, but if you got old fatty from the first day, him and his old lady <laughs> pounding damn cheesecake <laughs> like there's no tomorrow, <laughs> you're just cut that shit in half. Right. So you that one boat, you're going to put all the fatties in that one boat. Done. 75. Right. Who's, who's a strong swimmer? Bro, out there it don't matter. I told a man, I said, get your ass in one of those boats, throw me that little orange ring, tie that bitch off. I'll well, jet ski this bitch back to this damn shore, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no, that's bad news. I don't know how they pick what group you're in, or if it's like random. You know what I mean? Like this is where yeah. your where your um cabin is, I guess, is how they separate it. But yeah, they don't think about the weight distribution. Yeah, I'm sitting there thinking too, because old fatty was in my group. I love it, old fatty. So I think ain't no way me and him fitting on this. You know, the, that's one of the dudes you got to kick in the yeah. kneecaps when the shit goes down. Yeah, like, you ain't going to my boat. So. Like, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna stab you about five times. I'm, I'm yeah. letting the sharks come eat you first. For real, that's let one me, sacrifice me, you gotta yeah. make. You lived a good life, sir. You want all them desserts, bitch? Yeah, you want all the desserts? You gonna take them with you? You ain't gonna die hungry. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the shark. Well, what was your favorite? Course, that shark's bro? gonna eat that fat dude and get diabetes. Oh, for sure. <laughs> first shark in the world with diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I got that sugar disease. <laughs> Damn, that's messed up. I wonder if sharks can get diabetes. Uh, nah, bro. Like sharks don't ever get sick. <laughs> really? How do you know that? Oh, they ain't got no fucking doctors there's, down there's there. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of research on it. Really? Like they're trying to use their blood, like for like to cure Alzheimer's and I think it's all these shark uh, blood. Yeah, they're like, and the way they. Uh, like they bite each other like during mating and shit. You know, they bite one of us, they kill us. But you know, right. you see the scar marks, the way they heal up. Yeah, I bite during mating too, but I mean, not like that. <laughs> if anybody's listening, who's been with a uh, scooter, send me some photos of the scars. <laughs> oh lord! Oh lord! Yeah. Oh. So we left there. We left Grand Turks. Went from there. Went to the Dominican. Now we did do an excursion there. I wanted to punch you. When you posted that you were there. Why? Because you were drinking that local hooch. So? That's how everybody was dying. Bro, I got a liver like nobody's. Apparently, you're still here. Yeah. I drink. I drink. We drank as a whole. We drank that whole bottle. Right. I drank the first half. They're probably like, how is he still alive? They were laughing. Yeah. They were like, oh, "Oh, gringo grande. You're going to die soon. Uh You're like, no, No, I said, no, fam. (laughs) There's one girl, she drank, she just, I don't know how, he's seven foot tall, 450 pounds, I don't know how he's still walking. I'm like, because mama didn't raise a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like dying in the corner. And they, like everybody, they were serving them in like these little cups like this, like little yeah, shot glasses, little, little plastic. Yeah. They gave me a coffee mug. Uh-huh. Oh, like, yeah. Here you go, big dog. I was like, man, I need more than that, bro. He's old. Put you down. And every time she walked by, I'd put my cuff out. She'd like, she'd start laughing. Blue, 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 yeah, blue. She's like, oh, you me back your up. pants tonight. Ooh. And one of these like, oh, that's supposed to be a shot. It was, yeah. Here. How much can you drink? That's a shot. Yeah, there you go. Don't try me. And he drinks a shot if you're brave enough. Yeah. The, me and Amanda saw this one chick. We went to the nightclub one night on the, on the ship. This chick, we ended up naming her Helga. She's a big blonde chick. <clears throat> she shot an entire mixed drink. In one gulp. Uh-huh. I was like, that's Helga right there. She's really? like, oh. Like, she she shot it, and her friend was sitting there trying to do it. She only got like, and she was like, oh. And you see her face. Like, she wasn't doing it. She's like, I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. Single, probably. Yeah. So, well, she was trying to hook up with me. So, because she came over. Helga or her friend? No, not Helga. The other friend. Well, I mean, Helga. I mean, Helga probably would have got it, too. get it, too. So, I mean, I'd have equal opportunity. Amanda said she was good looking. I mean, I'm an equal opportunity pussy destroyer. Wow. So, she comes over, old girl comes over and sits sits down right next to me, right? right. Amanda's right on the other side of me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm dressed like I'm a pink, you know, I got my pink polo on, like my button up. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm. Look, it's 1999. Oh, oh, yeah. Yo, I have a big Goldie on. I was like, oh, yeah, boy, big daddy rich up in this bug, (laughs) man. So, she comes and sits right next to me. Right. She's like, Aren't you the guy who let me borrow his guy hat? From that podcast, um, uh, saucy podcast. Yes, I'm. I'm the Honky Kong. Yeah. Everything you've heard is true. Right. No, she was like, "Aren't you the guy that let me borrow his hat?" Because like you know they do those stupid ass games like the first day. Oh like, yeah, when you leave yeah, court yeah. and all that bullshit. So she came around and got my Volkswagen hat. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Oh, the Volkswagen straw hat." She's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yeah, that was me." She's like, and she's sitting there like this with her hand, like her chin on her hand. Oh, she's oh, yeah. oh yeah, she's smitten as hell. Yeah, moist panties, I can tell. Come on. Oh yeah. I mean. Oh, it's salt water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's salty. Wow. So, um, 
So she's all smitten and shit, and she's like, "Oh, so is that your sister?" Your no, she said I, was, I was your like, sister? "I was like, uh, my wife." Yeah. So then she leans back and, "Oh, thank you for letting me borrow," and went right back to being smitten. I'm uh-huh. like, I just turn around, I just, tr- I just turn around looking. I was like, "These bitches are brave as yeah, shit." We well, you know how they get on the crew. What happens at sea? Kind yeah, what happens at sea? Yeah, but, I'm like, oh, uh, player, you got to go back to uh, uh, land with syphilis that you that. I looked at yourself. I was like, a man, I was like, I mean, she's a little bit taller than you. think you can hold her down or not? Because <laughs> <laughs> she got Helga with her, too. You know what I mean? Right. I mean we, could, we could probably ditch one of them. Oh, yeah. But then, you know, here comes that meme. Ain't got enough dick. Ain't got enough stamina trying to embarrass me in front of right, the company. Right, right. Like, here I go. Tag right. me in. Tag me in. Put me in, coach. But I did get this fancy little cool uh, thing from Margaritaville in the Dominican. A little blender drink. A little blender. A little blender cup. Right on. Shit reminds me of a uh, a, com- a comedian that was on the um ship. Uh-huh. Things like RT something. We're not gonna give him a shout out. Yeah, yeah. Funny as hell. Reminded me of straight Showtime. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about yeah. It don't matter how gangster you are. He said you don't look gangster drinking out of a straw. I'm like what? What? Say something. Say something. That's what I thought. Go back to pulling on that straw. <laughs> he said, or you don't look. What really looks bad is when you lose your straw and you're like. Oh, yeah, you're trying to look around and find it? <laughs> Bruh, fuck a straw, man. It's always a bad look. Oh, it's definitely a bad look. So, we did that. And then, you know, in Dominican Republic, we went to, um, we went to Monkey Land. And when we hmm. first, when we first, bro, Interesting. this, this trip, like, the port is beautiful, right? And then you get on the road, and you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, they don't have they don't have public works. Right. Apparently, public works does not work. In- <laughs> oh, the place gets destroyed every other damn hurricane. But, no, they just throw so much trash. Oh, really? Like, they don't give a shit. Like, if you, if that's, what, I, I talked to some of the locals, and I was like, man, what's y'all's main, like, income around here? Oh, the, the, the tourists. Tourism. Okay. They clean the fucking road up. Like, there's no reason for paper plates and all this trash to be... All along the highway. Right. So clearly you know, just clean up your part. Car. Right? Nah. They're out there yeah. walking goats and donkeys and shit. And and if you get off the edge of the damn asphalt a little bit, you're done. Because yeah. that gutter is about two to three feet deep. Oh, shit. That's a valley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're fucked. Damn. But Honda Ruckus would have been on point down there, boy. Everybody right. on a scooter. I'd have been stunting. Don't call people in Dominican. I don't know a couple people from the Dominican. I don't know people, or at least one dude that still lives there. Oh, word? Yeah. But, like, but I've seen his house. Like, you take pictures. He's a nice, it's a nice place. Oh, yeah. It, it depends on nicer parts. There's some of the guys said, yeah, it depends on what side of the island you're, right. on, you're on. You were so, just on the west side of Jacksonville. Yeah, in pretty Dominican. much. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is 103rd <laughs> for Dominican. Right. We got, we got Ponte Vedra type shit. Yeah. Down so, the road. Yeah, but right now you're near Normandy, 103rd, you oh. know. Do what you gotta do. So you went to like his monkey playhouse. Or what is it? <clears throat> so we get there. Like we had to go like through this big gate. Like I was like, oh god, it's armed. I'm like, what the hell? We're getting ourselves into. There's so, an armed gate by the monkey sanctuary. Oh yeah. So we get in there. They you know, give us a little tour. They show us like a what a basic house would look like there. And the lady who was serving her drinks actually lived in the house. No central heat in there. Still had the leaf uh, roof. I mean, the house is kind of dope. Well, yeah, but. Oh, yeah, maybe. I need air conditioning because it was moist. I mean, I guess if you just live like that, you deal with it. I mean, sweaty body all day. I mean, maybe. I'd have to be in a damn a mankini all day. What are they wearing out there? Oh, full sleeve shirts, pants. Nah, bro. Wow. Jeans would never make it to my house they, down there. What are they, roofers? What are they doing? I don't know. But um, did the the whole drinking thing. Had got me a buzz. Went over to the monkey thing, right? We'll get over to the monkey exhibit. Everything brand new. Everything clean. I'm like, okay, I'm, this is going to be cool. Get in there with these little monkeys. These little bastards don't weigh shit. Like, you don't even feel them on you. Right. They're like, they maybe weigh two pounds. They just all bump. Yeah. They all over you. You know, they were trying to pickpocket old boy with the fruit. You know, they were getting their hands down in his yeah. pockets trying to see what he ate. Get some extra nuts. Oh, like, found uh, them. Oh, they're too big old nuts. That, what was that? The hangover type monkeys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like that one? Or a little these bit? Are, no, these are spider monkeys. Oh. Not the, uh, I know what monkey you're talking about. That, I think that's like a capuchin monkey or something. Bro, I don't know Jack Hanna, bro. I don't know about these animals like that. Spider monkeys are cool, though. I could have stayed in that all. If, I wish I'd have, I wish I'd have brought my camera just for that, just to take pictures of the monkeys. I could have done that all day. Yeah. 
But uh, they were cool. I gave them all uh, saucy podcast stuff, and they said the they're going to check are... it out. Oh, well, not the monkeys, the handlers. <laughs> I mean, I'm, hey, take this here. Don't discriminate. Uh, yeah, you want to listen? You got, you got an iPod, brother? They're all like, I don't know what the what this is or how mm-hmm. we're supposed to listen, but but their uh their setup's really cool. I was expecting like a you know a Dominican person to come and you know give us our nope. Here comes mm-hmm. this white Canadian lady. For real? They always speak Spanish and everything. I'm like. Where did you come from? She was like, oh, Montreal. I'm like, hey, okay. Tourism's a funny thing, man, because it brings, like, was your boat, like, full of, like, not, what, not Americans? Like, uh, people from other countries, like, the people that work there. Nah, brother, see, this is the thing. We took this cruise out of Jacksonville. Yeah. And I guess because it was so affordable, you got, like, the lower class, like, All the people that work like, there, South like, Georgia, nah. North Florida people in there. Really? Oh, yeah. The people that work there? Oh, no, no, not work there. That's what I'm talking about. The oh. People that work for Carnival, they're all like Filipinos. Yeah, not Americans, but it was like you know why? No, I have no because idea. they don't make as much, and you're not going to find an American to work that hard for seven days. For real? I don't know. They get like free travel and shit too. Well, they get you know. Got to be something to it because it, like on our cruise, I mean, even though we went out of Miami, it was still everybody. There was not American person mm-hmm. working there. No, it was like um. European, Asian. Oh, most of them are Filipinos, though. Yeah, but it was like some um, people from England and shit. Like the oh, yeah. main guide was like an English chick. Hello. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to follow you everywhere. I'm going to be your cruise director. Okay, well, that's Australian, sir. But Whatever. <laughs> you feel me? I do. So overall, it was good? Oh, yeah, I'd do it again. Yeah. With like less people getting hurt? Yes. Less children. You know, didn't want to see no little kids trying to hook up in the pool. You know, I didn't want to see no oldies, you know, falling downstairs. Didn't want to see fatties at the damn buffet bar taking all the fucking desserts. Mine's coming up. Oh, yeah. Next week. Five days. Actually, Saturday we're leaving. I can't wait. Yeah, I think we we got home. We went and picked our dogs up. Came back here, crashed for a little bit. And then we went and did something. Also, we went and did something Saturday night. I could have been wrong. I can't remember what the hell I did Saturday. Do you remember what I did Saturday? Uh, didn't y'all go see a movie? Did we yeah, go y'all see went to see Joker, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went and seen Joker. Whew. Can't wait to talk about that with you. Right. That well, movie is let's phenomenal. people uh, see it first, though. That movie's phenomenal. It's catching it's, some shit, though. No, it's definitely catching some shit, but... Dude, why can't people just, like, accept that it's a movie? It caught my $20. I know that. Right, but just... oh. Oh, it's making people. No, it's not. You're making people do that. It's mm-hmm. just a fuck. It's a movie. You're hyping it up, right? Just let it be a movie. Like somebody said, oh, it's you know, it's glorifying you know, murder and this and that. Have you ever seen any John Wick movie? Right. This dude kills hundreds of people in his damn flicks, right? Because with they pencil. killed his dog. Well, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, I would do it too, but <laughs> with a pencil. <laughs> I think I think Joker maybe killed ten people, if that. The Joker. Yeah. It's it, it's about his mental. Right, what mental, caused yeah, his, his mental breakdown. illness that caused him to become the Joker? It's a and cool dude, spin. and by the end of the movie, bro, you're rooting for him. Really? I might do that because he's been shit on so long. Oh, I might do that. I hope he fucking rips shit in this motherfucker. Right. You feel bad for him? Yeah. It, it really makes you the way people treated him and the way people talked to him. It really, it really got me to think like I'm really going to watch how I talk to people in public or how I talk to. Because no doubt, yeah. Because I mean, like, you don't know what that person has gone through. You don't know the life they lived. You know, maybe they're just looking for you to you know smile and tell them good morning. You know, even on the ship. You know, when I pass people, I'm like, oh hey, good morning. You know, because right. some people like they don't want they do, they just put their fucking blinders up and they're like scared to talk to people. Well, yeah, not some me. I don't want to hear. You know, as soon as I say, oh hey, good morning, how you doing? You know, how's your trip going? How's your cruise been on? You know, instantly. You like, can oh, see shit. everything changes. And nobody ever asked me that they, before. They, they start talking. Right. I'm like, fuck, you got a time, bro? Let's talk about it. There's something to that, though. Like, And maybe that maybe the movie will help bring that shit to light. Like, maybe be kinder to people. You know what I mean? Yeah. That could be the message versus, oh, be crazy. You know what I mean? This thing like with that post I made on Facebook when I, you know, I hardly ever post pictures of myself or, you know, me and Amanda, you especially, you know, we're enjoying our trip, yeah. you know, and I'm fucking getting, you know, negative comments. I don't really give a shit about the damn negative comments. I've heard of shit for fucking 40 years of my life. 
I've always yeah. been the bigger kid, always been the fatter kid. I'm built just like my biological father, got man titties. If you don't like it, guess what? I'll probably fuck your old lady. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that. You don't like it, guess what? Your old lady did. Right. But, you know, come up with something more original. Every fat joke you've... Yeah. Well, every, okay, I've heard for them all. Sure. Oh, for you know, sure. Get, get original. Get, get creative with yeah, it. Yeah, get creative with it. So... That that was my only my only thing. Right. Like I'm sitting there trying to you know, and I got my you know nieces and shit that are on my Facebook that you know sure. I'll, when I post something I can make it visible for them to see, and then they're gonna go look to the comments. Oh, Uncle Joey's getting damn you know ridiculed. Ridicule, you know, right. And you know, I don't want them thinking, oh, well, it's okay for people to do that. It's not. Like if me like if me and you are you know cutting the shit like right now or you know off air or you yeah, know it's just, just private, us yeah. you know just if we're just drinking we're you know ribbing on each other that's fine. Sure. I would never do that on a Facebook post. No, I would never go on there and be like, oh, you this. You know yeah. what I mean? like, No, why would no, well, you think I got damn man titties? Let me talk, take some pictures of some people on this boat. Right, right. That's what's so, like, that was kind of one of the things that I wanted to touch on, like negativity and, on social media just in general. Yeah. I've stopped responding to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, like if I post a picture of my truck, not everyone's going to like it. You know what I mean? If you don't, you're lame. Well, I mean, I don't care. Like, <laughs> but what I won't do is like when someone posts something negative about, I don't even respond. I don't like don't it. Don't feed into I don't, it. I don't feed into it because I don't have time for that shit. You too know old, what I mean? I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, and it, it's just with anything. I, if it's if you're trying to be a, a dick, I'm not going to respond. You're not. I, gonna I can be a dude. bigger dick. I, I promise you that. The trolls. I ain't with it. You know what I mean? I'll do it all day. But, but something I mean, like that when they're attacking you personally, it's just kind of lame. Yeah. So, There's a time and place for shit where your buddies to give you crap, and I don't yeah. know, that's probably not it. Yeah. So it was old. Plus people you were drinking into your feelings. Probably a not. Little <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Nah. But, but anyway, um, and then I was like, oh, you make fun of people all the time. I'm like, not on a social media post. Well, you made fun of me about where, where was that at? Right. Oh, we were at work. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. There you go. First of all, what making fun of you? So there's that. Well, I just took you know something caught my eye and I said it, and then right. Yeah, being frank with someone doesn't mean necessarily being yeah. fun of them. And I, oh yeah, you know I've always had that. You know I've had that as a kid. And, you know people made fun of me when I was a kid about it. I'm like oh, okay, never said it again. Right. I wasn't making fun of you. I just it it just dawned on me. You know it, it struck me. Like, oh shit. Duh, duh, duh. No, right. But whatever. Well, there's a thing. There's a there's a line of like cutting shit with your buddies and like trying to hurt someone's feelings yeah. or, you know what I mean? Trying to, that's just lame. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd rather be like, damn, y'all look good. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just, I mean, I, I got a hot ass wife. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> yeah. That's just kind of stuff I'm into. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like what, saying hot good, old ladies. Yeah. But like being positive with man, people. I really like Joey, man. He got a hot ass old lady. <laughs> We're going to Halloween Horror Nights. I get to look yeah. at that ass all please night. Come, please come on. <laughs> I'm on a man. <laughs> I'm Team Whoa. Amanda. Speaking of, that's what we did Sunday. Yes, Holy sir. Well, I had a busy ass. You had a busy ass time. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, went and seen the Joker, came home, chilled. We watched, started watching the Jaguar game, right. and then jumped in the car, hauled ass down to Orlando where you were at. Ooh. Yeah. But you had Bo- Bova gone. Yeah, on, we had the car show on Saturday. Saturday uh, all day. Hot as shit. Burnt my neck. Yeah, let's talk about what you did for, on Saturday for a bit instead of doing everything I did. I about. mean, we Bova gone, what was that? Four. Yeah. Bova gone four. Box van, wagon, car show. That's what it stands in for. Orlando, in Orlando. Um, I wasn't in the show. My car was in the show, but I worked the show. Because so, you were. I'm a ambassador for Box Lifestyle. The, the um, What would you call that? An XB? No, 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 no. But like the <laughs> box lifestyle. I'm trying to think of how do you the the company. The, oh, the, it's like a brand, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, they're a brand and a club and a, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm a ambassador for that brand. It's, they're the ones that host the show. They host the show, and you won best in show last year, and they asked you right. to be a, an ambassador. Right. So so basically, what that means is that any of the ambassadors or uh, staff that work there for them. And their shit can't be judged. Their shit can't be judged. In all fairness, it shouldn't be, right? Because we're the damn judges. Well, see, rumor on the street was um, they were glad you were an ambassador because you probably would have took it again. I don't know, man. There's some really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, you can be humble all you want. We know the truth. Well, I mean, listen, I'm not going to deny the fact that mine's raw as shit, but there's a lot of other raw ones, too. I mean, good company. You said that one dude from Virginia or something came down? Oh, he won it all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the best of show this year. Best of show in this year. Yeah, man, I want that car. It's beautiful. Now, you said you wanted to buy the whole car or you wanted to buy his body kit? I want, I want the body kit. 
but he knows what he's got. He yeah, ain't giving he ain't, it away. He ain't giving it up. Yeah, I heard he's parting it out, though. Damn, build and let it rip. I mean, he's had it built for a long time. Uh, yeah, I think he had it brand new. Oh, damn. So Like you. Like 05. You've had yours since new, right? Uh-uh. You bought yours used? Yeah, I only bought it four, years, four or five years ago. Oh, damn. Okay. Life. Yeah, I'm late to the party. Oh, true. It's a lot in four years. Well, I've, I've come to this realization. People who modify brand new cars or drug dealers or their credit card bills. A lot of times, yeah. Because how the hell are you making a $700, $800 car payment? I don't get that shit. And then you're slapping turbos, wheels, body kits. With I'm maybe like, sponsors. But hell, sponsors only cover like a percentage well, a now. A true sponsor. A true sponsor just gives you the shit. Well, you're right. If you're building it for some shit. I don't know. To rep, it's but I mean. Sponsored by these hands. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't understand that. First of all, I would be I would throw up over a damn seven dollar <laughs> payment. Oh, I don't know how somebody was buy, buy brand new basic ass cars. Yeah, I don't like get it. you're spending how much? And then yeah, to go slap all that shit on there. Mm-hmm. And then the other flip side of that is you're modifying this car, but Bank of America still got the title. Yep. Hello. Do they know what you're doing to their car? Yeah. Do they? Yeah, exactly. You want to like tag them in all these photos? Wouldn't that be funny? That old. Hey, my star. You see this shit? <laughs> <laughs> but back on top, back on topic though. Yeah, um, Boba Gun was good. I did that, judged all day. Then we'll have a Saturday night that you wished I was there. Oh my God. So we went to the hotel after the show. Um, this gets good, everybody. So, yeah, some of us stayed at the same hotel. We stayed at this, um, I'm just going to drop it, shit ass Marriott. Um, the hotel was fire. That, the, yeah, I was going to say, the hotel was dope. The hotel was dope. Um, but the location of it was, it was like right off. A major highway, right off itself. a major road. So when I pulled in that night or the next day, mm-hmm. I'm like, I said, this thing's kind of a sketchy ass location because it's the only hotel right here, and it you're was close right to the street from the venue, and you're real close to damn these damn major roads. You know, somebody could break into shit and haul ass with it. Interesting. <laughs> so we go back to the hotel. My chair is um, being super McSqueaky. It is. Hope it doesn't come through. If it does, whatever. We'll burn it. Um, Saturday night, we go back to the hotel. Me, Brandon, um, Piper, Joaquin stayed, and then Lindsay and Kendra came down. So we were just hanging out by the pool, you know, drinking White Claws and shit, (laughs) ordering food. And this creepy-ass dude is in his window, first floor window. It's open. He's vaping out of it, and he's just staring at everybody, making everybody, you know, uncomfortable. Like, I'd be like, hey man, you looking at my man titties or what? It was just like, it's just odd. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And um, as the night goes on, after um, Brandon and Piper went up to bed and, and we were getting all ready to go in and, and Lindsay and Kendra go to throw away garbage and this dude down there breaks his neck, stands up and tries to look out the window at them. So I'm like, okay, well now that's enough. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. What's up? He's like, you good? I just yell over to him. Are you good? Because he's just Okay, first food. of all, Scooter don't yell. It was more like, hey, hey, man, you got a problem? Hey, what's up, man? Are hey, you okay? hey, hey, you want to do this or not? Right. So I, I got a little louder than I normally am. You went up five dBs? Yeah. Attaboy. But, but, Jay, they, but Jay Quillen was there. They did. Like, they're still over there trying to fit all this, you know, pizza boxes and shit in the garbage can, and he's doing it again. Now, if you don't know who Jay, who Jay Quillen is, you don't know his stature, he about, what, six foot? Yeah. Right at six foot. Yeah, maybe about six He probably dresses out about 385, 390. He's, I mean, he's like Suge Knight. Yeah. He, yeah, he's our Suge Knight. Right. Um, And so he's get, he finally is like gets up and he's like. He gets heated. Yeah, so he gets loud with dude. He's like, can I help you? So we're like, whatever. We don't think nothing of it. And I can see I can see Joaquin doing this too because he's suave as shit when he talks. Yeah. I can just, we got a problem? Yeah. He, he just, just lay it do out we have, Do we have a problem? Yeah. Clearly he's talking to that dude. The guy comes outside. We're here, like walking in from the pool area, and I see this. I see him coming out the door. I'm like, "Oh shit!" So I tell Lindsay and Kendra to back up, you know, get out of the way because I feel like shit's about to go down. <laughs> and I'm ready. I'm like, "Okay, it is what it is." Like, goddamn, wish Joey was here. I look back, at Joaquin. And he was like, "We just shrug, like, okay, there it goes." And uh, he, first CDLC elite ass whooping. He was about the shit. The dude was just running his mouth. I, you know. He was wasted. You could tell when his, his eyes were glassed up. He was on something. Well, like I told you, I, I'd have told him, if you come across the threshold, I will oblige you. Yeah. He he was just wanting to run that mouth, you know. He would have been 
picking his chiclets up off the damn concrete. He didn't get nowhere. It was just like, yo, you're being. And he crazy. wasn't even going at you. He was going out, going at Joaquin. I'm standing right next to him. I'm right there by the door. I, I'm the one that opened the door. And he's standing in the doorway. I'm right next to him. And he's just, you know, talking to Joaquin. I could have stole this dude. Like, snipe. It was in my head. I'm like, I could sleep as that. He's going to need a late checkout. Like, I could sleep him for real. <laughs> And I was like, no, no. In his, in, his, in his defense, he said, I've been here four days. I can look out the window if I want to. Yeah, he was trying to defend his looking out the window. And, okay, sure, you can look out your damn window. I looked out mine, but I wasn't staring at people's kids or, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Making Not making it open. obvious. Make, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's creepy as shit. You're staring out the pool just looking at everybody. And don't come around trying to beef me up with your jorts. Yeah, yeah, he's wearing jorts. I'm like, dude, get, get out of here. He's, like I'm, not, he's like, I'm days. not your bro. I'm not your bro. <laughs> They're like, I'm no, like, okay. clearly. You're not my bro. And he just went back to his room mumbling. I don't know. Like, the Gator game ended yesterday. Hey, man. Why didn't you go home? Hey, man. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. So that was exciting. You know, yeah. We're like, we could have beat him down, but it's we go to jail. You know what I mean? You get arrested. Who who wants to go through all that shit? I'm like, did you hit him? No, he ran into my fist. I got shit to do. You he know? ran into my fist 32 times. I messaged Brandon and Piper that I was like, yo, this dude just came down here. Piper's like, do I need to come down there and karate chop somebody? <laughs> I was like, Nah, fam, we're good. Off walking, all walking, had to go get the bag. I mean, need to be done. You might have had it on him. I don't know. Could have. We were just hanging out. It's like, don't be a yeah. douche. You're like, bro, we're white claw wasted right now. For real. There's no laws when you drink a white claw. It was just. I can't believe you gave me one of them shits when I got there on Sunday. I mean, you people really drink that shit. Who is you people? Huh? That wasn't even my call. I text Lindsay. She was on her way. I said. We, if you stop somewhere, we need some Modelo's. She shows up with White Claw. No, she got Modelo's too. But okay. we, Atta after girl. that, add a girl, Lindsay. I think Joaquin was like Tina would probably get you know drink some of those, and I think we we're all just like, yeah, run it. So it was why a, not? So it was a group decision. Yeah, there was. I just went along with it. I'm like, all right, that's what y'all want. <laughs> Lame ass. Whatever. This shit is terrible. Bleh. There's one like the lime. It's like decent. You can deal with it. Yeah, like if you're thirsty enough. But the rest I'm of it's always straight thirsty. garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's ass. So yeah, that was it. And we so, went to so now show up on Sunday. Show up on Sunday, twelve hours too late. Well, I'm very glad I wasn't there. I mean, I, there is no, you there is no feared that dude. Yeah, there's no think process in my head. As That's soon as hilarious. I okay, as soon as I saw it, him come around the corner, I'd been like, it's showtime. Just speared him and threw him in the bathroom. Oh yeah, we just went about our business. Yeah, yeah, throw him in a trash can. Jeez. Hey, you want to see a dead body? You want to see a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, then we had that Halloween Horror Nights. Son. So dope. That was that was fun. 29th year. Next year is going to be fire for 30. 30? I wonder what they're going to do. They're going to be coming all out. They got to do something. Yeah, start saving now. Oh, yeah. That shit is not cheap, even on a Sunday. Even on a Sunday. Our tickets, me and Amanda's tickets with our Fast Passes. Was four hundred eighty bucks. So yeah, I had so to you buy top three. So you, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. shit. Yeah, and and you were drinking all night too. I was like, he must got like money, money. <laughs> no, dude. Because these beers, a, I did a side job. Oh, they were, yeah, yeah. That's all. Because that. them beers weren't cheap either, dude. It was like nine dollars for a a can, a can or whatever that. Like, was. get the hell out of here. And it was like Coors too. So between our tickets, gas. Okay, you're charging an arm and a leg. Why the hell are they charging for parking? Ain't that some shit? It's like twenty five dollars to park yeah. there. Like, bitch, I am already spending almost five hundred dollars. Yeah, to be here, park my shit for free. I gotta come here. Yeah, why isn't that included? Like after a certain time, parking should have been free every time. Yeah, as much as tickets cost, they should be included. Oh yeah, for Halloween Horror Nights. Oh fuck it, the whole thing. Oh, for Universal, yeah. Universal ain't really expensive though. It's not. Hmm. Oh. Not compared to Disney. Oh. Disney's parking should be free. I mean, as much money as they're making fucking money hand over fist out there. Oh, yeah. It's like we were talking, like everybody else in a fast pass in your lane. Oh, my God. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So, as much, I don't give a shit. However much it costs, I'll start saving now yeah. to do that shit next year because I will not wait in that line. There's we talked no about way. it before. There's no way in hell. But it would have been on a Sunday, dude. Like, you could have never got through all 10 houses. No. 
if you didn't have My it. body was killing me. I was kind of pissy waiting 10 minutes and I paid that much for a damn pen. Oh, remember right? every time we stopped, I'm yeah. like, I paid way too much. Why are we stopped? <laughs> I didn't pay to stand I didn't here. Pay to st- I didn't pay to stand here. All right. And he got all those shitty looks <clears throat> from the people that didn't. So we slapped Sassy uh, Saucy Podcast, slap stickers on everything in Universal. That might have been a mistake. Nah. I mean. That's good promotion. Yeah, but I don't know. I was putting them bitches at nine Universal. for high. <laughs> I, was putting, <laughs> I don't know how Universal feels about it. Huda. There's one of the entrance of um, House of a Thousand Corpses. If y'all go check it out, just look, you know, about knee high yep. at the main entrance. There's one uh, going to Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, on that on that, on that on the on that might last a while. Yeah, because you that's incog- incognito like, for real, right in the middle of the danger zone. Where it says like Peligro or Pelgro or some shit. So that might that one might get looked over, but there's one there. I stuck one on the back of a trash can right there at the right. corner. Right. Uh, I stuck one on a damn beam. Yeah, there's a few around the park. Oh well, uh, look for them. Hey, if you find them, take a picture of it. Yeah, like found ge- it. Like geocaching. Yeah, we'll send you a real one. Yeah, we'll send you one. Um, but the haunted houses were sick. Oh yeah. You get, oh. Did you bring the map? You make notes. I got it right here. Atta boy. We hit the Ghostbusters joint first. Yep, right off the rip. That was such a throwback. Oh, yeah, that's a great house. Because it was like the original. Yeah, the original Ghostbusters. It wasn't like the chick one. Nope. Or like two or the, three. It was yeah, the, the very first one. Gorney Weaver. Yep. Let's with the, do- the big-ass dogs. Yes. And the library scene. Yeah. Slimer, all that. Slimer was sick. Loved it. Was I mean, a- it wasn't like scary per se. No, no. Because then they had like the Ghostbuster guys ushering you through you yeah, know what i mean they would jump out every now and then like they were yeah. looking for you know they weren't there to like scare you but them jumping out right. that was their intention but when they had like the one door that looked like the glowing fridge yeah that shit was sick I'm like i don't go watch the movie yeah it so wasn't scary i gave that one a b a b b plus just for nostalgia then we did yeti right after that yep no no was it yeti or us was it Yeti and then us? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. It was Yeti then us. We went and saw the Yeti one, which is like abominable snowman type shit. Yep. It was dope. I think it was probably one of the best houses. It was tied for for one of the best because it really wasn't, um, really wasn't. It was from a movie, so they had more free range to do what they wanted to in there. They had no expectations. No, like you didn't have no idea what the hell they were but doing. It was cool, like the costume, the set design. Oh yeah, it was, was. It was cold it was as shit in there. It was cold. Yeah, it was cold. So it felt good. For real, we should have done that twice. Yeah, that was it was pretty dope. I think in that line, is that the one I got scared. You got scared in a lot, you sissy. Okay, calm down. Um, is when I seen um Shannon Baszler, oh. w- WWE uh, NXT superstar. Yeah, and then she whoever was... her thicky thick friend was. Hey, was tall as shit. Oh, you uh, can tell she beats men up. Oh, uh, easily. Yeah, she was yoked. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, who's that guy, girl? Give me your, his number. <laughs> right. Oh, shoot. It's like, damn. Dick all. I clack. Uh, and then we did Us. Now, that movie's shit, according to you. Movie is pure shit. I haven't seen it, but I'll take your word for it. But. That house you, was kind of scary. You go to that house. Yeah. It make you want to go watch the movie. Well, because there's like young people in the movie, right? Mm-hmm. Young kids. Mm-hmm. Younger. And those, so they have the actors in the house. Younger kids, and they were and phenomenal like, the way yeah, the their movements and everything, and shit, like all creepy. Like if they walk at me, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm, I might have to punch one in the face. Right. It was it was kind of scary, and yeah. I haven't seen the movie, so I had no house was dope. Uh, yeah, it was it was good. I don't. It was either that one or the Yeti one where that dude come out of nowhere where I had to sidestep his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> my bitch meter was on full tilt when uh, in the us house. Right off the rip, because um, if anybody's seen the movie, you know the um, the house that she goes into the the carnival house on the beach. That's what you go into at the very beginning of the. Okay, that makes sense. So you go into that, and there's all these mirrors, and something something got me right there, right off the rip. Oh, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah, I don't, I don't, kids get me. For sure. They're scary. So I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Stay with me, Crotch Goblin. Most of the time you can tell, like, oh, there's a corner, there's a door. Like, you know, you can time it just right where oh, you yeah. know someone's coming. But that's, I think that's what's fun about it and why I don't mind paying what we pay because 
you know at some point you're gonna get got. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean. So you get, you get, I feel like you get your money's worth. So the us, I think I'd give the us house at least a B. Yeah, it was pretty good. I'd give it a B grade. Movie, a straight bomb. But I want to see the movie now. Now that I've <laughs> seen the house, the, the movie soundtrack's dope. Then we did. I think we went, yeah, House of a Thousand Corpses. No, we did one before that. Well, I mean, Universal Monsters was la- later. Yep. Pull out the map. Yeah, it would have been better. We can you know how we walked it. I do have it. Stand by. Stand by. He's going to his bag. Bag of goodies. Bro, why you got that big old dildo in there? Um, cause I you bring... never know when you're going to need one. True. Am I wrong? You got facts with you. Yeah, so Ghostbusters. Yep. Those two. A check. Bear with the sound. <laughs> yeah, us and then Yeti. Oh, Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. That was the next one, Stranger Things. Stranger Things house. Man, that shit was so dope. Oh, yeah. Just because the show was amazing. Yeah, it put some money into that one. I was impressed. It yeah. It went through... Like the whole season one and then season two. Yep. It kind of it kind of like skimmed through season two. I feel like most of the house was about season one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was pretty cool. Like you walk through the school. I don't want to ruin it for people. Well, don't. Okay, I won't. But yeah, like all different aspects of the show. Yeah. Were like as you go through it. The little the little actors they had. They, yeah, they had people that looked like the actors. It was it was cool. It was little cool. Demi Gorgons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kendra really liked that. She got scared. Easily. Oh, yeah. she. I don't think she was ready. She wasn't ready for all like, that. Not like age-wise, but like I thought she thought that it wasn't going to be as scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, And where Stranger Things, all three of these houses are pretty close to each other, and you have to make that corner. When you make that corner, you see the, the H3 with a spray-painted three on it. You're like hell yeah, Zombie, zombie Land. land. So they had a, I had a little bit of a strip of a Zombie Land scare zone. Right. So they had music playing from the movie, and Even they had all these show. zombies and stuff. It, she was dope. Amanda must have got got like five or six times walking just through standing there. Standing there. Oh yeah. People just come up and just jump oh, yeah. at her. The, the scare <laughs> zones. Yeah, then they had like a little show too. Yeah, that they was put cool. on a little skit. Yeah, the scare zones are fun too. You know what I mean? Just walking around, it gives you that vibe. So I think after that, is where we get past that, we're headed looking for the House of a Thousand Corpses house, and we see uh, Fast and Furious ride. I wish we didn't. Yeah, let's I talk about this. We Wasted fifteen it. minutes. What a trash can of a ride! I mean, it's like, not even a ride. No, it's not a ride. You get in a damn van. It makes you seem like you're going around the corner. To a, a block party. Oh, that's cool. We're going to a party. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to a party with these lames. No. So, you know, they had, they had people from the movie <sighs> portraying themselves. Y'all see, that's how bad it was. You got me getting sleepy it. just talking about right. it. You know, it's all digital. And then, I swear to God, as soon as the actual ride starts, it's not even two minutes long. Yeah, maybe. If that 45 seconds, it's some chase scene. It's a chase scene, and that's it. We feel like you're in it because you're the shit's rocking and moving. And I would have had more fun if we just got to stay in the garage and look at all the cars. Yeah, that would have been more fun for me than the actual ride itself. But it was based on like the rock and Jason Statham version. Yeah, all the over the, the over bullshit. theatrics. Yeah. You know, it was. I want a Tokyo Drift ride. I want that. Universal. Looking at you, you looking bitch. at you, Universal. Yeah, don't give me this Hobbs and Shaw shit. Put it this way. They have Hobbs and Shaw or they have Fast and Furious blasted up on the wall. There is zero line to get in this damn thing. None. Remember we walked up like, oh we got fat that dude's like, bro, don't there's no that. line, no waiting. You just walk right on. Don't go that way. It's a long I'm like, walk. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there was nobody in there. Now I know why. Trash can. Won't ride that again. Yeah, you can do away with that. That's no. a waste of money. Go take a thing. shit. Seriously. You get more enjoyment going to take the shit than actually ride this ride. Do walk in the garage and walk out the other side. Yeah, yeah. Just like, where's the exit? Yeah. Just go uh, see you haven't road ride yet. Like, no, I'm good. They got a few cars in there. That's yeah. Go. That piece of shit. So, yeah, then we went and made our way to the, hol- the house of a thousand quarters. Yeah, but remember when we, where it puts us out at, it put us out past 
kind of like in the middle almost. Rob the Rob Zombie zone. Right. And I was like, no, we missed it. We missed the scare zone. Yeah, so yeah. We so we could we, we, back. We went back and threw it two or three times. Oh yeah. So I'm actually thinking about switching up the uh, the outro music on this one. Really? Yeah, they're gonna do Living Dead Girl or something. Uh, Pussy Liquor. Okay. Well, you doom, just doom, 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 to get doom, doom. Off. Oh, no, no lyrics, Uh-oh. just straight music. Yeah, it was cool. I think the scare zone, the Rob Zombie scare zone, was better than the House of a Thousand Corpses house, even though the house was good. See, to me, even that wasn't scary because that's like one of my favorite movies. Right. So to me, that was all nostalgia for me. And Doctor Satan is spot on. Oh yeah, the arms. It's like they went back. They went to the sound stage, grabbed that shit out of a damn you know a locker back there. And like, oh, we're using it. Right. (laughs) He was a consultant on building that, on the undoing the setting up the house. Rob Zombie was. So you knew that shit was going to be fire. Shit was dope. Hell, just seeing damn Captain Spaulding about bringing damn tear to the eye. Yeah. He did pretty good. He was close. And then um, I watched you know, Three from Hell this morning. So I, I didn't watch it yet. Yeah, you'll like it. Yeah. It's pretty. Somebody said it was shit. Mm, but I wouldn't say it's shit. I don't know why they would have. You know, because, you know, Sid, he, Captain Spaulding, he goes out pretty. It's a small part right, of the movie. Right in the very beginning of the That's movie. That's what they said about three pads. It was so they, they brought in a third character. It's supposed to, to be. Three. Yeah, it's supposed to be old boy's uh, half brother. Right. Well, thanks, Runer. Spoiler alert. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, I need to watch it but just because. I mean, I don't care if it's good or not. I want to see it. Yeah. But. House was dope. So House of a Thousand Courses was dope. I, I gave that a B, B plus, just for nostalgia. I mean, they were all pretty solid. Some of them you could tell were like a reach. The house that got me was that damn mummy house. Not the Depths of Fear. It was Graveyard Games? I don't know. Everyone had a damn zombie. Not a zombie, a damn mummy. I don't know. There was a few like just random depths of fear, graveyard games, and Nightingale's Blood Pit. Depths of fear was okay, except for the monster itself. It's like the watery grave. Yeah. yeah. Like you were in a damn submarine or aquarium or something. something like that. A lot of water. The graveyard one was pretty cool. That that's the one with the teenagers, right? With the cell phones. Yeah. And, yeah, that was a good one. That one, the one scene, if, if they'd have had more live action characters in there, boy, look here. Dude. I would have ran a, four, a 4 two forty out that bitch. Universal's Monsters, though, the classic Monsters one was cool. Yeah. The werewolf, Frankenstein. The old Frankenstein coming around yeah, the co- uh, corner and me and him are eye to eye. I'm like, what <laughs> up? <laughs> like, what up, old neck bolts? Um, who else? Oh, Dracula. Mm-hmm. And then Bride of Frankenstein got Kendra bad. Oh, yeah, because oh, she, she, she came out and screamed dead off in her face. <laughs> Kendra just turned around and looked at me like she was about to pass that out. That chick was a fucking smoke show, she too. dead boy. on. Yeah, I was like, you can yell in my face. Yeah, come here, girl. Yeah. But that's When's your next break? I scared the shit out of Kendra. It was good. Poor Kendra. She had so much fun, though. Did she? Yeah. That was good. But then... Somewhere in between here, we go ride Men in Black. Oh, yeah. And that's where my night made a turn for the worst. Oh, because it was spinning? Yep. That ain't your thing? Nope. You didn't have a sit and spin when you were a kid? Nah. After oh. after after we rode that ride, my I was downhill after that. Damn, just nauseous or whatever? Just, yep. Couldn't ever shake that, uh, that nausea feeling. That Harry Potter ride does that to me. Never rode it. Yeah, well, it's whatever. But yeah, I get that. Spinning around shit. I was um, like, there's no reason for us to spin. There's no reason for us to spin. And you Here. gotta like shoot shit while you're spinning. Yeah. It's like, I, like, I was trying to concentrate on one thing while I was spinning, so I right. didn't. It didn't help. We always talking so much shit when we first, when we got like halfway through that. Um, Because you gotta shoot shit and that your score pops up on your screen or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like racking up points. I'm dust every. I'm like, oh, you see my score, da, da, like talking all this shit. I looked over at you. You're like sitting around eighty nine thousand, uh-huh. right? Yeah. I look over at Lindsay. Bro, one hundred and ten thousand. I'm like, what? The I got a dead shot with me. Yeah. I'm not getting on the line. Yeah. But I was like, wait, what? Because she was way behind. And then all of a sudden, I didn't know what to fucking aim for. They're like their eyes or whatever. Wherever was it, it the, like up, the glass ball? It glowed, yeah. Then you shoot that because they had. Red. Remember, they used to have targets on there. Really? They used to have targets on them. You could hit a target, Ooh, and you can get your shit. 
Now they just took the targets away. Now you got to aim for like the eyeballs or yeah. where the hell's glowing on their body. Dude, pull the trigger, dude. She has to let it rip. I'm like, I'm not trying to work. I'm just trying to enjoy this ride. I try to remember like what it was when I was a teenager trying to work that trigger button. Is that, that's not how you pull the trigger. <laughs> He's clicking a mouse if y'all can yeah. get a visual. Clicking that pink mouse. What? Oh, and then uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, Bro. Loved it. Love it. Loved it. That house was spot on. It almost, it almost smelled a little bit like cotton candy. Yes. It was cool. That Huge house was clowns. spot on. I mean, the costumes were perfect. I'm tall. Yeah. Them sons of bitches were taller. Huge. Yeah, it was It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like, it's another one that wasn't super scary. Yeah. But it was just good. Just it was a good just ass fun house. To be in. Yeah. Why we didn't do a couple of them, separate, you know what I mean? Like multiple times. Like walk back through them again? Yeah. Like wait in know. line? The whole waiting in line? <laughs> we had walked a lot, though. At first, I thought, I'm like, oh, we're <clears> ripping through these. And then I'm like, oh, shit. No, not really. Like my feet are killing me. We got the other half of the park. Yeah. Time and starts. That one we had to keep walking uphill. Every time we come out, we had to go walk. Well, yeah, up. Like three of them came out in the same spot. I was like, like Jesus, just leave me here. Just her. save yourself. Right. <laughs> so let, leave, let me die. I'm going to stop and get a drink for this one. Yeah. It's all 10, I think, right? Yeah. So it was good. Scare zones were good. Scare oh. actors were good. So, let's see. Rob's on the arcade one in the beginning it was fun. Vanity Ball was cool. Which one's the Vanity Ball? The one where it was like um, all the... Well, like a steampunk looking chicks? You know, like the and... runway one. Yeah. Where they're oh, yeah, all yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic surgery gone wrong type of shit. Yeah, that one was dope. That one... Rob Zombie's on the... Yeah, Rob Zombie's on, dude. It's, I felt like I was in a damn strip club from the 90s. The, they had the Living Dead Girl there. Oh, yeah. The dude from the the music video was had there. Had two dancers up there. All the go-go dancers. Mm-hmm. It was, was pretty raw. Yeah, go look at our Instagram. I, I posted oh, some yeah, videos. Oh, posted videos of it. Oh, well. Yeah. We walked through that thing twice, three yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Three times a lady. <laughs> it was a good one. Yeah. Appreciate you, Rob. We missed out on damn Transformers. Oh, and seven minutes. They were like, we're closed. Why is the park open until two in the morning, but the ride closes at 11? Exactly. What the fuck? Why? Like, I paid good money to be in here. I paid uh, for parking. I wish I'd have known that. because This should've... bitch needs to run. That ride's fun. Oh, yeah. So that sucks. But we hit. What else did we hit? That was it. Men in Black and Fast and Furious. Yeah, you didn't want to, y'all didn't want to ride uh, the mummy. Yeah, we did. The first time, first year we went, we went on that. And Lindsay didn't like it because of whiplash when it, when it rolls backwards. Really? Mm-hmm. She didn't like that part. Oh. Uh. I don't like the heat part. But when you hit that firewall. Like, oh, God. Yeah, like, I can't breathe. I'm sweaty. I'm get sweaty. These, get these bugs off of me. I'm starting to smell bacon. Let's yeah. ride. Yeah, because you're right up on the dam. Oh, yeah. Heat. Firewall. That's another ride that I need to revamp. He's a makeover. These kids today, you never seen that damn movie? Right. Yeah, you Who the hell's movie. Brandon Fraser? Who is this? That ain't the rock. Man? Where's the rock? Is that a Ceno man? <laughs> oh, this is George of the Jungle. George, 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 the uh, jungle. Uh oh, got a notification. That's all right. Somebody say, hey, man, your, your volume sucks. Oh, I wonder. You better check it. You check it on YouTube? No. I didn't. I mean, I can. Hang on. How do we sound? You ho asses. Love it. How do we sound on YouTube? One guy. <laughs> yeah, one guy. That's what's up, though. How long? How long have we been running? An hour. Hey, an hour down. Oh, so you know, to finish off the trip from Orlando, mm, let's you guys, talk. You guys left Sunday. Oh no, let's talk about uh, yeah. Voodoo Donuts. Oh, Di- yeah. instant let's, diabetes in a box. Yeah. So y'all cook first. Y'all came out of line first, or Amanda did. Yeah. She opens up this box of goodness. Bro, what'd you have? The every breakfast fruit, cereal ever made. The fruit loop donut, of, the crunch berries one. You had a Butterfingers shit. Um, out of all the ones she got, me and her both agreed. The um, which one was it? The maple. The maple kind. The maple stick <laughs> or something like that. But it was like a yeast donut with maple and it had a cream in it. Oh my god, it was oh, delicious. Yeasty, creamy. But like the <laughs> like the actual donuts with the icing and the cereal on it, they were yeah. Yeah, 
I was jealous. I had like donut envy because Lindsay come out of the damn line with like a cinnamon sugar donut, and then like I don't know, she had some funky purple shit, <laughs> and Kendra had something. But I'm like, I get this. You got the lane. I got this basic ass donut. I mean, it was good. I do love you know cinnamon sugar donut, but I was like. She went with what you like compared to what like, you well, wanted to see. I want to see. I want a fancy donut. <laughs> like that shit probably wasn't cheap. Donuts were. Off I the ate chain. mine all the way to the car. I said, "Whatever, I'm, not, I'm letting this bitch rip." We <laughs> we ate a bunch on the way back home. I yeah. think I I think that was her sugar rush, so she could keep driving. And I, you know what's crazy? I was like, almost went, decided to go home that night because I had to work Monday. Yeah, I was like, eh, I'll get my sleep. You know what I mean? Whatever. Bro, y'all left. I get up in the morning at like six thirty, and I'm I'm going back to Jacksonville. I get in my XB and I just haul ass. The girls slept in; they're gonna check out and leave. Lindsay, but if you would have walked around to the driver's side of the Lexus, right? It was part of the other side of me, so I would have had to walk past my car to get. You know what I mean? I had no yeah. reason to go that way. Yeah. But if I had, I would have noticed that it didn't have a fucking window because <laughs> some asshole broke into twenty. Like no, she, Lindsay was a twenty first car. Huh. When she got down there, people were already outside. You know what I'm saying? Looking up to the sky for answers. You know, trying to figure out what the what the hell happened. And they're like, "Oh, did they get you too?" And she said, "Yeah." They go, "Oh, well, you're the twenty. You're number twenty one." I'm so annoying. She calls me. She doesn't want to tell me because I'm I'm already almost to Jacksonville. Might as well go ahead and call in. She's like, "Oh, you know, it's got bad news." You know, I'm thinking we You're got a little flat, extra charge on the damn hotel or, or flat something. Flat tire. Or... Yeah. But no. Driver's window. What kind of piece of shit criminal? Okay, break, rookie. Break the back window. Do me a favor. You know what I mean? Shit. So here's cute ass little damn Lindsay driving her Lexus in the rain. She's a G. With no window. I told y'all she was a G. <laughs> not, only she a, not only is she a straight shooter. <laughs> Right. With the laser tag oh, yeah. in the mouth. <laughs> she just jumped the car and said, no, nah, I got this. So, you know, we... Did she show a glass in her ass? Well, she was sitting on it. Well, she was sitting on a towel. It was on, Okay. You know, so I'm like, well, I can find a glass company down there because the weather was going to turn to shit. Yeah. So I'm like, you can't bag it because it's a window you need to look out of to drive. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I'll find a window company, but everywhere... um, it was like Thursday before they could get a window. I'm like, it's Monday. So I was like, well, this is our options. I said, I, I called. I said, I can go home and get another car and come back and get you because she don't want to drive my XB. And she don't want to drive the damn truck either. Right. So I'm like, well, I'll go get a different car, come back. I'll drive the Lexus, whatever. She's like, nah, I got it. Okay. I mean, if you say so. You got to tell me twice. Yeah, she drove through some rain. She got there. She was like soaked. Poor girl. She got to my shop, but she got the car to me. You know, vacuumed it out and got a new window. I picked it up today. I got to install it tomorrow. Word. But yeah, um, the, in, in the hotel, at like, they don't know shit. Yeah, you told you, oh, this happened just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they said it just happened recently. Like, the same situation. They'll have no cameras. And how nobody heard shit. Okay, if you don't have, okay, you don't have cameras installed. If that shit happened one time, it will happen again. Right, you get cameras. Okay, so you get... Either that or overnight security. Something. You well, do uh, have some. They do have an attendant at night. I found that out. Where was he at? I don't know. Asleep? Letting, letting the motherfucker do it, probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, getting his cut? Because two of the cars were right up by the front door. How is that possible? You bust, you bust two windows right next to the main entrance and nobody hears anything. Nobody hears nothing. Come on. You bust 20 windows and nobody hears nothing. Yeah. That's a setup. Up. Yeah. So who, Marriott. Who the hell knows? Yeah, so I got to deal with that shit. And you know what, Lindsay? They offer her a broom to sweep the glass out of her seat. And we're going to stop the podcast right there. This will be part one of two parts. Make sure to tune in Friday to hear the conclusion of Scooter's story of Shattered Dreams on Friday night when part two will be uploaded Y'all, uh, y'all stay saucy. Peace.